up, people? Um, Happy New Year, first and foremost. Um, I just want to do my... Um, sorry, I was listening to the music. <laughs> my 2011 um, favorites. And that ranges from clothes to all these cosmetics that you're about to see and a couple of purses and tote bags. Um, yeah, let me just start with the bags, okay? First one is this tote bag I got from Walmart, and it was $3. I still got the tag on there because I ain't worried yet, but it's super duper cute. And, um, so it's just black, and it's some um, water repellent. Got the Betty Boots in black and white, and then one in color. And it just says Betty Boots with the kiss, which is super cute and girly. I love it. Still with the kiss. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So, that's that. Next week, I have um, this Wonder Woman bag. This is so big. I like the handles. It's like plasticky right here. And she got the blue eyes. The pink star. Uh the pink lipstick. Super, super cute. And little stars are down here. So I love that. And then up here it has like a, um, a button. You can unsnap it. And then it has like um, another little thing holding it together in a pocket on the side. Which definitely comes in handy for keeping the camera or wallet or whatever. Next up I got this Betty Boo purse which is so freaking cute. I got it from AJ Wright's but I think they closed down their discontinued right now, so whatever. Anyways, Betty Boop. I love Betty Boop, as you guys can see. Right here, my Betty Boop purse. And it's gold. It just says Betty. And then right here, it's like metal. It says Betty Boop, silver. And then Boop. Then it got this little Betty Boop right here. And it says Boop, Oop, a Doop. Boop, 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 boop. 1980. There we go. And then it just got like like a handle on the side. The back of it has this little pocket, which is handy for um you know a phone or whatever. And then inside it has Betty Boop on the lining. It's got the zipper and it's like brown. There. You open it, it has a Betty Boop lining as well. There's a tag in there that says Betty Boop. If you guys can see it, I'm not sure if it's focusing. There we go. So, yeah. It has a pocket right here. You keep a camera or cell phone. It has another pocket with a zipper. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome. Actually, I think I'm going to start wearing that purse because I haven't really worn it like that in a while. so. I don't know. Also, I had gotten this baby fat uh, coat towards the beginning of the year. And it's just gold. With a silk type of lining. And the zipper is gold with a little baby fat thing on it. And um, it's just whatever. I'm zipping this gold all the way down. The sleeves. It's a chocolate brown coat and it's just got gold baby fat cats along it. And then, um, I like the pocket. See? You just zip it. Or whatnot. And it's has the baby fat cat. Hold on, okay. So it looks like zipped up. And you got this right there. And I actually removed the hood from, well, actually, it is a hood. Still, you guys can see. That's how it is inside. So I actually did have like some fur around it, fall fur, and I just took it off because I thought it looked kind of ugly. So I unzipped it 
and then that's what you see. I gotta stick right here. I can just zip it back on, like on and off though, so that's pretty convenient. Almost the back of the hood. And you got these little things right here on the side, which is super cute. And that's my baby fat coat, but it's real, real cute. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous and it's super duper warm, which is most um, the most important thing. So thinking if I had one well, wish, that's my song, y'all. Right, Jay. Uh, this clutch is something I got for my birthday, which my birthday is August second. And I got this clutch right here from my older sister. So it's super cute. And um, the inside it has a zipper right here, you guys can see. It says it's celebration. I think she got it from Target. And it has a snappy thing right here. So it can stay in place. But it's nice for an evening bag or, you know, going out. I haven't really worn it yet. I was going to wear it on New Year's, but I didn't. So anyway, it has a chain right here. So you can wear it as a clutch clutch like this or with the chain. So I think that's really classy and super duper dainty and cute. Every girl should have one. Next up are my makeup products. Remember you guys, the Naked Palette came out. So I got the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. And if y'all don't have it, it's what it looks like. Hi you guys, there I am in my naturalness. My hairstyle today. So yeah, um, the naked palette. It's got naked in the inside and gold. And then these are the colors. Look at 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Let me get 12 colors left. Let me turn it down a little bit in case y'all can't hear me. So, um, I really love these lip glosses. I got these. Uh, in the summertime from Bath and Body Works. Um, they're limited edition ones. So, yeah. Like this one, for instance. They only had this one out. Uh, it's my Lip Licious. Um, at Bath and Body Works. They only had this one, um, which I'm sure they don't have it anymore, because, um, it was exclusively for when, um, Prince Charles got married. Okay, now Ray J whining over my voice, so I gotta turn him down. Um, so it's it called. It says if the tiara fits. So it's basically in honor of Prince um, Prince William. I said Prince Charles. Prince William, yeah, Prince William getting married and stuff. So that's this, and it's basically clear with gold specks in it. So that's why I look yellow. There's like a lot of gold glitter in it. This is actually one of my favorite um, lip glosses, which I am actually trying to um, limit how much I use because it's so pretty, like it's so gorgeous. And it's super duper moisturizing. Next one I got was the Berry, Signature Berry Vanilla Lip Gloss, which actually smells like berries and vanilla, yeah. And they had a cherry vanilla one, which did I get the cherry vanilla one? I think my sister got the cherry vanilla one. Yeah, she liked cherry vanilla. I didn't like that one. I like the berry vanilla one more. Plus, the packaging is super duper cute. So, this is their signature vanilla um, lip gloss. So, I got that. And it does have some a hint of shimmer in it as well. A little glitter. This one is I Love Stilettos. Another limited edition one. And it has no sparkles in it. And I don't even think I've used this. Maybe once. So... It's red, but it goes on clear. So, let's find another song, y'all. So, um, and we do that. Difference in instrumental by Genuine Love. Genuine. Goodness. All right. My Urban Decay, um, Shadow Pony palette. I think it was the Shadow Pony box by Urban Decay. Which was like my first product that I purchased from Urban Decay this year. So, yay, whoopsie doo. Ah! Like around the time I first started doing my videos on YouTube, um, which was February of this year. I mean, of last year, 2011, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. So, it's just nice. It has like two women there, and 
There I am again, you guys. Purple color, I use the heck out of that. I think it's called Flash. Yeah, Flash. Painkiller, smog, and toasted. And I have those colors, those same colors in my naked palette. But next up were the um, Elf Eyelid Primer. Now, I got the gold one and the champagne one, um, which I think they're similar dupes for the Urban Decay um, eye primers because they have gold and they have champagne as well. Thing is, with these, I pay a dollar a piece for these. So I paid like two bucks for these. You know, you can get like, um, the Urban Decay ones I think are like $15 or something like that. Don't catch me lying, but I'm pretty sure it's like around there, it's pretty pricey. So these right here I find work just as good as the Urban Decay ones. Um, I mean, yeah, the Urban Decay Primer Potions. Um, Cause I actually do have the original Urban Decay Primer Potions and I really don't see a difference in these um, in comparison to that. So yeah, I was definitely loving these. I love how it has like a little hint of a sparkle when you put it on. Actually, I'll spark it for you. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Okay. So, this is the champagne. Can y'all see those sparkles? Pretty. So, that's the champagne one, and I got that from the e.l.f. website. $4. And it's the gold one. Eyelid primer. It goes on like that, and so I blend it out. basically just dries with the gold finish and that's the champagne which is a silver finish and then that's the gold one super duper cute i think it's really pretty just kind of make sure um eyeshadows pop next um my current fave i'm definitely loving is this elf mineral lip gloss and i got this from elf as well for three dollars so it's really really cute um I was wearing this on my lips earlier. It just has like a little bit of a pink finish, but it's pretty. Thanks, Ross. And um, also, I got some of these mixed pencils this year, which will last year. Keep forgetting it's 2012. Um, the next Dolly Pink. Mm -hmm. All right there. Wait color right there you guys um you want to hold that for me mm -hmm. well your fingers from in front of it make sure you see mommy face can you see mommy face yep okay next up is this mac liquid last liner and when they say it's liquid last it definitely lasts a long time i had this um i just washed my hand with this the other day and it stayed on my hand for like two days i'm not even lying so i'm gonna do a little swatch for y'all and it's super difficult creamy however what are you doing nothing look at my face however it's discontinued so that's a bummer this is it right here can you see the color mm -hmm. so yeah i got it from mac before they discontinued it uh my next up what i wore like for majority of the summer was this by essence and um i don't know what the color this is it's kind of like a metallic color I'm gonna swatch it right here for you guys. It's color right there. It's kind of like an iridescent, pinkish, purplish color. Next is Max Atmospheric. Y'all see, I used the, I used the, the mess out of that. I'm gonna swatch it. This little glass is definitely what's up. You all see that? So that is Max Atmospheric. Super cute. Nextly, I got these um, two brushes. Brushes right here. And it was the holiday collection from um, e.l.f. And I think it was like $4 a piece. 
So they're super duper cute. I love all the rhinestones and stuff like that. So I love it. Next is the NARS Shh. NARS eyeshadow in uh, California. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You see it's untwisting. Stop it, Roslyn, okay? Put it down. Sorry about that, you guys. Kids. So I got uh, my NARS. Can you hush, please? So I got the California NARS eyeshadow. Which, by the way, these are my first um, NARS eyeshadows. Um, I didn't get them until this year. And they're pretty pricey. But I think I got mine on sale. I think they were like $8 a piece at Sephora. So it comes in a little mirror. And that's your shadow right there. And that's actual size. Isn't it a little? It's tiny, though. And, um, yeah. I think it retails for like $21, though. So that's that. The next one I got is... Night Sun and it's basically this pretty gold color however when you swatch it it's kind of like an iridescent color see right there but it's super cute though I love it I absolutely love it I think it's really really fabulous I love the pigmentation of the NARS eyeshadows um next I got this <laughs> This chapstick is so moisturizing and I got it free. It's a cherry culture lip balm and a bubble gum. Love it, love it, love it. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Ah, uh, please. Next up are two makeup brushes. Brushes from e.l.f. Um, it's the e.l.f. powder brush. She looks like that. Super duper densely packed. This brush i actually have to get me a few more of them it's made so well the handle is uh it's like wooden i want to say and then right here is just this i don't know anyway the bristles are super duper soft and it doesn't hurt your face or none of that so i use this as a foundation brush so it, the great thing is you can use it for wet or dry products next thing i got is <clears throat> My stippling brush, e.l.f. stippling brush from their studio line, which basically just gives you a nice airbrushed look. So, this is great too. I'll put this on for my, use it for my foundation as well. Next thing I got was, um, yeah, my first MAC palette I got this year. And, um, it was actually these four shadows. Um, hold on, I'm show you guys. It's right here. This color right here is, I, can, I forget. Let me see. Ah! Okay, that's Electric Eel. And this is pretty blue. This one is uh, Copper Ring. That's Copper Ring. Electric Eel, Copper Ring. Chrome yellow and plum dressing. I think it's plum dressing. Let me make sure. Yeah. Plum dressing, chrome yellow, electric eel, and copper ring. So, yeah. Those are really some really, really pretty colors. Those are my first colors that I actually started off with. And then I had Atlantic Blue. I think it was called something like that anywho can you stop it please um gotta love the great lash by maybelline mascara and i got it in curvy black so i love that been using it for a while since the summer and it's, i still have quite a bit left next is this elf flawless finish foundation it's what i'm wearing now what i use every day and i have been using it for like the past couple of months and I get it in Coco. And this is $6 on the ELF website as well. Next I got are these two chromographic pencils. Um, it's an A41 and A31. 
And this is the high def cyan color. And then this one is the process magenta. So you can use these for your eyes or your face. Or your lips or whatever. Okay. So I plan on doing a tutorial with these yeah. definitely. Um, can you stop it? Let's take out this Revlon mirror. Which actually came with my titanium flat orange. You guys should definitely take check out that um uh, the video I did on that. So yeah. This is the mirror. There's me again. Hi you guys. And then that's the lighted part. Yeah, why are you so happy? Oh, that's my other favorite too. You guys can see it in the mirror. I'm glad y'all can see it in the mirror. This DV1 camera is my favorite. That lime green right there, y'all see, is one of my favorite colors. So this is a favorite from 2011 that I got. It's one of my recent things I got from 2011, but I love it nonetheless. So that's definitely a favorite. And this mirror, I was trying to show y'all. Sorry. It's magnetizing, and you can also see it has a light, which came with my titanium flat irons, which I forgot to put and show y'all for this video. Where's my titanium flat irons? The flat irons. I was going to show y'all what drawer was in, but I didn't. So, these are it. It's the Revlon flat irons, and they are titanium plated, and it's camera y'all it's one and a half inches okay y'all see it and then it just lights up there and it has a little dialer on the side next up can you stop is uh, my coastal scents palette my first palette that I got was this year because I basically started collecting my makeup this year and I got quite a bit I must say and it's the 88 ultra shimmer eyeshadow palette I definitely need a, a matte palette, you guys. Yeah. So you guys can, um, I'm thinking about a PH Cosmetics one, but if you guys can recommend me one, that'll be great. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's 88 shimmery colors. That's the blue one. Look how pigmented they are. Hi, you guys. I'll see you guys again. Uh, that's the yellow one. It's like a green one. See, I need to start using it because it's highly pigmented. I just forget sometimes. Um, what shadows and stuff I got. But, um, next up is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. How could I do without this? So I got it in deep dark. And it just gives your, I use it for like a finishing powder. And, um, yeah, it just gives you an overall, overall nice glow. Plus it's natural, so it's mineralized, so awesome. Can you stop? Next, I got these two, which are my Maya pigments, eyeshadow pigments. One is, it's a, and it's multi-purpose too, which I keep forgetting. You can use it for your eyes, your face, your lips, whatever. So one is called Energy. And the other one is spring. So these are the colors. And this one right here, I'm showing you guys, is the energy one. From green to dark blue to pink. Purple, orange, another pink, and a copper. I got mine from Amazon for $20, $19.99. And then I got this other one. And it's a stackable, by the way. It um, unscrews and, yeah. This is the spring one. Yeah, low is the blue, the light pink, dark pink. This one is kind of like a translucent. This is a purple. This is a nice green. Dark green, blue. And uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, what else? I guess that concludes my favorites from um 2011 favorites and um I'm trying to see i was gonna put hair in the video but i don't have it handy so yeah also i keep burning this like crazy the merry mistletoe 
candle from um Bath and Body Works. It just smells so good, you guys. Like a nice, sweet, soothing, school soothing, shh. Soothing um, smell. Oh, yeah. Plus, I forgot to show you guys. I have this Wet and Wild eye makeup remover. That's really, really good. And um, my brush cleaner by e.l.f. is really, really awesome. So, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the vid. Thank you for checking it out. And um, stay tuned for my monthly favorites video, okay? Bye, you